Yeah, first of all, we got just a ton of respect for Nickel State uh, and Coach Conch. Uh, he did an incredible year this year with his team. Um, you know, I think they won 17 or 18 games coming in um, and, and were um, um, just, a, just a fantastic uh, job by him. He's really built that program. Richie Rally got that thing started years ago, and Austin's kind of taken it to a different level and got Nichols to the championship game. So they had our respect. Uh, there's a ton of respect in our locker room for Nichols. And uh, just really proud of our guys, man. I think we came down here and uh, for 80 minutes, and we really defended. We really guarded. That's our identity. That's who we are. And then offensively, we were able to make some shots, uh, and we shared the basketball. There were some times where we got to clean some stuff up, but um, – just, just super proud of this group. This group has been special from the start. Um, this year has been tough for a lot of different reasons, man. And this group has made this year uh, as funny, fun as, as any year I've, I've been a part of. And um, proud of these two, man. This kid right over here was a – this one, this way, I guess, was a baby. Uh, two years ago, he didn't even have any hair on his chin. Uh, but the last time he was here, now he's a grown man. Uh, and this uh, this dude right here, uh, he's been waiting. Uh, he's had doubters his whole life. He's been waiting for this – for a team to be his team, and uh, this is Reggie Miller's team, man. He's the heartbeat, he's the soul uh, of this team, man, and uh, he's a winner, man. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a good coach because of these two. So happy moment for our team, our program, our university. This is extremely exciting. Thank you. First question goes to Noah. Noah, you may unmute your line. All right. Uh, hey, Coach. First, congratulations. Uh, second of all, to do this on the – on national television where a bunch of people are watching and to win in the fashion you did, what kind of statement do you think this made to the committee and to uh, the rest of America watching that ACU is uh, a very legitimate team and someone uh, that the rest of the country should uh, be watching when it comes to the big dance here? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I'm not uh, obviously I'm not smart enough to be on the committee, uh, but I know these guys, we, we got a darn good team. Um, you know, I think we've done that all year. Um, you know, we played Texas Tech to a one or two possession game. They've been a top 25 team all year. Uh, we played Arkansas. It was seven or eight points late in the game. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I think everybody's seen what they've done this year. Uh, so uh, this, this team has validated everything uh, from, from the start to the, uh, to, to the finish. So we can't control anything. We, we haven't been able to control anything all year. It's kind of been our motto, man. Whatever they throw at us, we'll handle uh, there's been a lot of adversity this year for us, man, and, and it's a mature locker room. They handle it. And we'll take whatever the seed to go. The, the good thing is, man, we're getting on that plane in the morning, man, and that's what we're happy about. We're getting the opportunity to play. Next question is from M. Preston. You may unmute your line. Hey, Coach. How's it going? Um, hey, what's up, Max? Uh, so, you know, too, back – how's it going? You're back in the tournament. Uh, you know, I covered you as a student. You know, you go the first time, and I think, you know – most important time is the first time, but the other important time is going the second time it means you're not a fraud. You're, you're for real. You're a great, you know, program. How does it feel to just get the second one? That feels great. I think we validated, you know, I think, I, I think we've done that the last week. I thought last year we validated, you know, um, and uh, you know, it was, it was hard for Rick, Trey and Hal, right. Those were the three uh, that didn't get the opportunity to play. Um, and so uh, you know, I think, I think this year has validated that stuff. So we're building a real program, uh, but it has nothing to do with me. It's got everything to do with these two guys in that locker room, man. We've got a special group, man, uh, just special dudes that work hard. They let us coach them really, really hard, and then we love on them harder off the floor, man. And uh, it's just special, man. we got something really unique, uh, unique going on here, and that's uh, a lot of fun to be a part of. You guys quit asking me questions, man. Ask these dudes questions, man. Yeah, next question is for Joe from John. John, go ahead and unmute your line. Will do. I promise, Coach. Two questions for Joe. Uh, number one, what did you learn from your dad about what it takes to win a championship? And number two, um, as a player who's seen some tournament caliber teams this year, like Texas Tech and Arkansas, what did you learn from those non-conference games about what it will take to hang with or beat those kinds of teams next week? So I guess uh, for the first question, uh, my dad just instilled, I guess, like a work ethic in me just at an early age and continue to say that uh, just continue to trust the process, uh, continue to work hard, and just always find that middle ground. Don't get too up. Don't get too down. Just find that middle ground, continue to play, no matter what uh, challenges you go through, and just to keep going. And then uh, for the second question, it's just, uh, just continue, you know, to buy into the program, continue to uh, lock in to the game plan. Uh, coaches, my teammates, they believe in me. I believe in them. So it's just continue to work hard and just treat it like another game and just uh, be us in the day. Next question is also for the student-athletes from Noah. Noah, you may unmute your line. 
All right. Uh, guys, you've been through a lot this year with uh, COVID postponements, injuries, things like that. This is kind of the – we're talking to Coach and uh, Reggie and Corian this week. This is kind of the first time you guys have had most of your team healthy. So for Joe and Reggie here, uh, what makes this group of guys so special, kind of off the court bonding together? We we see how dominant you guys are on the court, but what's kind of the, the secret sauce and how are you able to kind of hold everything together off the court? And you want to take that one first? Uh, when I first got here a couple years ago, they told me that the culture here was different. And I listened to them. I kind of heard it one, one year after the other. But as the years went on, the culture here is different. Right? Everything we do off the court, on the court, is family. Um, we're not judging anybody. I feel like this is the most tightest team I've been on since I started playing basketball, and it's because of the culture. Like the culture is so different. Like we're, we're a loving group of student athletes, and we come out every day and try to be better and challenge each other in practice to be better. And I feel like that culture is what sets, sets us apart from everybody else in the country. We've got another question for Joe from JD Richards. Yeah, Coach, can you talk a little bit about the uh, the job that Damian did today? I mean, he um, does a really good job pushing the ball up court, but he really got offensive today, scored the ball. Uh, Damian, I like Damian scoring the basketball or helping his offense for the night. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Damian, Damian did some good things tonight. Uh, I, always, I know that what Damian is capable of. Uh, you know, he can make plays, he can hit shots. You know, we're all very confident to uh, do things like show tonight. And uh, – he was just he was out there doing what he was capable of. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, you know they, they made a little bit of run there at the end of the half. What you tell the team at half? Quit turning the ball over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's just a uh, way to get back to us. Uh, you know, basketball's a game of runs. Uh, we had to make sure we just get back to us, lock in defensively. As Coach said, take care of the ball. Uh, take the right shots, you know, take shots that uh, we practice, that we work on during practice. And, uh, you know, the key thing is just locking defensively, get stops, you know, the offense will come off of that. More questions for the student athletes from M. Preston. Yeah, so Joe and Reggie, just from your, you know, your point of view, we, we asked Coach last night about how nice it was to have a, you know, a fully healthy team, you know, all your guys out there on the court. From your point of view tonight and then last night, just getting two dominant wins, how nice is it to have full strength and just be playing with everybody? Um, it's great. I mean, I feel like every team in the country wants to use all their players if they, if they can. So throughout the season, we faced a lot of adversity. Some on the court, some off the court, some you guys don't even know about. But I feel like we stuck together as a team. And with us having everybody, it only makes us better. Um, our depth this year was probably, I think, personally, I think that it was our strongest weapon. Like, we can go in and out defense, and it's no, it's, it's no slack. Like, um, that's what we preach, next man up. So um, I feel like our depth was our number one weapon this year. Uh, I've got time for one more question. Hadari, you've had your hand up for a little while. Go ahead and unmute your line. Yeah, congratulations, fellas. I'm just uh, dealing with the disappointment of not playing the tournament last year and then with everything that you guys had to deal with this year and not being able to say that you're back-to-back champions. How good does it feel? How sweet can describe what it feels like? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, obviously, uh, last year was very disappointing, but uh, the country made the right decision. The NCAA made the right decision. When you look back, uh, we didn't need to be playing basketball at that, team, that time of the last year. It's uh, it's proven that point. But just so proud of so many people behind the scenes, starting with the South of the Conference. There's so many people in this office uh, that just did a tremendous job all year, giving us the opportunity and every university in the Southland, uh, giving us the opportunity to have a season. And then uh, down here at the conference tournament, we've had a great uh, environment, a safe environment. Everything was first class, the way it was run down here. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the credit goes to everybody else to give these kids the opportunity to do what they love, and that's play. Uh, they didn't get the opportunity last year. You know, at our level, uh, you know, you play for Saturday night, man. And, uh, you know, at a high major levels, man, they play for Monday night, maybe in a month or two. But we play for Saturday night, man. We want the opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament. And, uh, Joe's a veteran on this now, and Reggie's going to get to experience it for the first time. And so uh, it's, it's a lot of fun for me as a coach to sit back. This, this trip will look different. Uh, I have no idea what it's going to look like. Uh, I've been twice the way the other way it was, and so we have no idea uh, what it's going to look like down there. But uh, we're going to get to experience it and uh, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do this, you know, with everything going on. So it'll be something that these kids will be able to look back on when it's talked about and say, hey, we were a part of that. So just really happy to be again for our guys. Um, 
and special uh, special night, man, uh, for them. And I'll also say this real quick before we get out of here because we got an early flight, I guess. But I uh, just want to thank the Southland Conference, man. Uh, you know, uh, they gave us the opportunity to go Division One basketball seven, six, seven years ago, whenever it was. Uh, and, um, you know, AC was just a, a little old D2 school out in West Texas, man. They gave us the opportunity to be a member of this league. Uh, we take a lot of great pride in that, man. Uh, we, we will play hard for the Southland uh, Conference across our chest. Uh, I know there's been a lot of talk about the WAC, but I'm just very appreciative of the Southland Conference and everything that they've meant to uh, our basketball program. They gave our university the opportunity to put ourselves on the map, and we're forever indebted to the Southland Conference. And um, just want to make sure I went public and said that.